Hello there and welcome to SNMB Academy. So prior to our previous video of factorizing quadratic equations, in this video I'll be showing you how to factorize the quadratic equations with the negative numbers. So all the procedure is the same, we just have to make sure we are looking at our, you know, considering our negatives. So in the first step, let's just, you know, we know that x squared was a, so the 1 comes with it. So a becomes 1. Our b is now minus 8. So minus comes with the 8. So b is minus 8. And c would be a positive 15. So we know that we need two numbers that multiply to give me one number. And the same two numbers will multiply, uh, will add to give me another number. So it's a times by c. So two numbers that multiply to give me is 1 times by 15. So that's 15. So two numbers that will multiply to give me 15 and the same two numbers that's going to add to give me minus 8. So exactly the same procedure. We look at, you know, the factors of 15. So which numbers are going to multiply to give me 15? So factors of 15. So we can have 1 and 15 and we can also have 3 and 5. So by the looks of it, we need, we need to make sure that both these, you know, the pairs multiply to give me 15 and add to give me minus 8. So if you look at 1 and 15, yes, it multiplies to give me 15, but they no way add to give me an 8. Let's just leave the minus for now. And looking at our second pair now, we can see that 3 and 5 also multiply to give me 15, and they can add to give me an 8. So we know that this is the pair. So we know that it can be 3 and 5. Now, the second thing that we need to look at, we've got the numbers. Yes, they multiply, give me 15, but no way did it add to give me a minus 8. Yes, they, it gives us an 8, but not a negative 8. So now we know that we need to add a negative to one of these numbers. So to add negative, what we have to see is that to multiply, we are getting a positive so, and add to give me a negative. So in that case, both these numbers would be negatives. So minus 3 and minus 5, because negatives multiply to give you a positive, and when you add the negatives, that will give me a minus 8. So we know that this minus 8x can now break down into two numbers, or two factors, minus 3 and minus 5. Now, we rewrite this equation, the main equation, and that shall give us, you know, x, let's just write here, x squared minus 3x minus 5x plus 15 okay and then we can make a pair out of it so again minus 3x and minus 5x if we add this together it goes back to minus 8x so the reason why we have factorized this so we, we can you know make factors of it so x squared minus 3x will be 1 and minus 5x plus 15 will be another so let's just scroll this down okay so to factorize the first part the common thing the common factor is x bracket x minus x and what is minus 3x is minus 3 there we are and then the minus comes outside let's just factorize this so what's the factor that it can be going outside the bracket it is a 5 open bracket minus 5 times what gives me minus 5x x minus 5 times what gives me a positive 15 will be minus 3. So minus 5 times by x is minus 5x. Minus 5 multiplied by minus 3 is a positive 15. And again, to make sure that you've done it correctly, you can know you can easily see that inside the brackets, both expressions should be the same. So there's x minus 3 here and x minus 3 here. So again, to make the two brackets, like I mentioned in the previous video as well, that you can call it outsiders and one can be insiders so the outsider will be the one outside the bracket so that's x and minus 5 so that will become x minus 5 and the one that's inside the bracket will become that's inside so x minus 3 so x minus 3 and there you are x minus 5 bracket x minus 3 and again if you expand these two brackets you will get exactly what we have here x squared minus 8x plus 15 so quite straightforward, just making sure we're taking our factors properly. So let's just do another example. We have a question here. 
Okay, now exactly the same thing. Let's just realize our three terms first. So A is 1. We have B as minus 10. Then we have C as a positive 16. So numbers that will multiply will be A times by C. So that's 1 times by 16, a positive 16. And numbers that will add to give me a minus 10. So now we're looking at two numbers that will multiply to give us a positive 16 and the same two numbers that will multiply to give us a negative 10. So we're finding the factors of 16. So factors of 16. So we can get 1 and 16, we can get 4 and 4, we can get 2 and 8. So while, the, while having a look at this, we know that one and the best pair that you can have is 2 and 8. Now multiply to give you 16 and also add to give you 10. So we know it will be 2 and 8. Now again, we need to make sure that we're looking at our minuses properly. The multiply to give me 16, that's positive. Addition one is negative, so both my numbers will be negative. Now, again, now we're going to write our equation. So that will become y squared instead of minus 10y. Now we're looking at these two numbers, minus 2y or minus 8y, minus 2y, and plus 16, plus 16. And we can make the pairs out of them. So y squared minus 8y could be 1, and minus 2y plus 16 could be another. Now, to factorize this, what's common? y is common in both the terms, y squared minus 8y. y times what gives me y squared? y minus y times what gives me 8y. It's just 8. Minus what's common in these two terms? 2. Bracket minus 2 times what is 2y? Y minus 3 times what is a positive 16 is a negative 8. Now again, the, to finalize and finish off things, we know that the two brackets we have, one would be the outsider and one will be the insider. So outside we have Y minus 2, so that's Y minus 2, and inside we have Y minus 8, Y minus 8. So there you have it. Again, if you expand these two brackets, you will get exactly what the question says y squared minus 10y plus 16. So there it is, very nice and easy. Just have to make sure that we're looking and considering our signs properly.